Hello again, Trumpets! Mr. Santucci here, yet again. I am going to record a video for you of Furioso by Robert W. Smith. The first thing you should do is search in your YouTube search area for this song, Furioso, Robert W. Smith. If you type that in, Furioso, you know, type, look at the title of your music paper, F-U-R-I-O-S-O, -S -O. and uh, type that in and type Robert W. Smith and you will find a recording of this where the whole band, a whole band, is, is performing so you can hear what the whole piece sounds like, so you can get the feeling of it. To me, it sounds like, um, you know, some sort of an evil wizard from Harry Potter or something mixing up an evil potion, you know, coming up with some evil plot or like, um, you know, getting together a big group of bad guys to go like try to attack the good guy's castle or something. Um, or some people it says like, it sounds like part of like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean where the bad guys are, you know, coming. Um, so it has that kind of, you know, mysterious kind of evil sound to it. It's kind of fun. It's very challenging because there are a lot of high pitched notes. And honestly, even for me, you know, I started out as a trombone player. I'm not really a trumpet player. Um, but I know how to play the notes, but my lips get really tired playing this. It's 72 measures long, and there are a lot of notes that are pretty high pitched that we're not used to playing. Um, and so, we're gonna have to work at this. We're gonna have to keep practicing as much as you can practice every day if possible. I know a lot of you guys are doing baseball during the spring, but um, maybe three times a week for 10 minutes each time. That will help build up your strength more than if you just practice once a week for half an hour. So. I'm gonna play it through first. There's a lot of places where there are long rests, seven measures of rest, 16 measures of rest, where you're gonna count like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. There are a lot of dynamic markings under the music telling you to play loudly or softly or to crescendo when you have that, it looks like a, a greater than symbol stretched out or like alligator jaws open, right? That means you're starting softer and you're getting louder gradually, crescendo. Um, there are a lot of little accent marks that look like little alligator mouths over the top of the notes, right? And that's, that means to attack that note with um, a little bit more power, a little bit more tongue. Ta, ta, ta. And, and on the third note of the piece, it's tied together with the second measure. So you have a two count half note tied to a four count whole note. So you add those together. So you're gonna play for six counts and pretend like that's one note. Right? And then it gradually crescendos, gets louder, and then ta, with an accent, forte, strong. I'm going to play through the whole thing as well as I can. I might make some mistakes, and then I'll tell you, oops, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, and I'll go back to that beginning of that section. And uh, see if my lips can hold out through the whole song. If not, it means I need more practice on trumpet too. So I'm right there with you. We'll just try our best. And, you know, we're learning. And we're getting stronger. Okay, here goes Furioso. I'm going to try my best to play it. Um, we have no sharps on this one, so regular F, first valve Fs, right? All of our regular notes in, the, in our scale. Here goes, ready? Um, notice when there's parts where there's a, a note, sometimes there's a whole note for four beats tied together to another whole note of the same pitch. There's a lot of places where there's slurs, um, a curved line marking notes that are changing to different pitches. So you use your tongue on the first note, but then not on the other notes that are contained by that slur. So you'll hear that like, um, the part, it sounds like ta, ta, right? I tongue on the first one, ta, but on the other ones, I just keep blowing the air and change my fingers. That's a slur. All right, here it goes, beginning. I'll try to see how well I can do on trumpet, on furioso. Okay, ready? We're going to go like ta, 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 about that fast. Okay, ready? One, two, three. So that's the beginning. And then seven measures of rest. Then we get to measure 11. Then we have 16 measures of rest. One, two, three, four, two, etc. We get to measure 27. It says building, you know, so you start out kind of medium and gets builds louder until we get to 35. So I'll play that part. It starts with a rest on measure 27. Rest, ta, 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 ta. Right, here it goes, 27. One, two, Three, four. 
how it crescendoed. Now, I missed one note on that part, so, uh, you know, I'll go back and do it again. 27. I'll try again. Ready? One, two, three, four. I missed a note again. This is really a challenging part. Okay, so one more try, measure 27. You can try it with me or you can go on to the next part of the video. Here goes, ready, 27. One, two, three, four. Yay, I finally got it right. This is hard for me too. So then there's um, three counts of rest and then seven measures of rest and then 43. So there goes 43, ready? Medium, loud, mezzo forte. One, two, three, four. That's how it ends. Wow. Mm. I'm telling you, for a trombone player playing the trumpet, that is tough. My lips are tired. Um, and there's a lot of tricky parts with the slurs. I'm going to move the music up close to the um, camera and show you some of these markings on the paper. Don't worry if you can't get every detail right. It's really a lot to do at once to try to get the correct notes, the correct fingers, and the slurs of when you tongue, when you don't tongue. And then also then to know when to play loud, soft, medium loud, right? When to get gradually louder on the crescendo. So I'm going to talk you through it if you, if you want to uh, see how some of these markings work. Okay, here it goes. Ready? Move this up here. See if we can see this. Maybe I'll move the camera a little closer. Hold on tight. Here we go. Whoa! Yes. Okay, furioso. So, so you have to at the beginning you have to be thinking. It says feel pulse, um, and so you want to be thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, right? So you think you're thinking that, and you're starting forte. That's the accent mark right there. See this little uh, this little alligator mouth facing that way, or a little less than sign. So. It's telling you the beginning of the note is louder than the end of the note. Even though it's a short note, it means start with a strong tongue. Ta, ta, ta. Here is a two-beat half note connected to a four-beat whole note on the same pitch. So you tie those together, perform that as one long six-beat note. Okay? And this sforzando piano means hit the beginning strong and then get very soft and then gradually crescendo right here, get louder back to forte strong on this note with an accent. So, A, F, E, A, All right? Seven measures of rest. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, 
three, four, etc., all the way till we get to here, then 16 more measures of rest, then 27. We have one beat of rest, and then E, E, D, E, F, G, F, D. Right now, here's the slurs, medium loud, shh, not too loud, and the D to the E, you use your tongue at the beginning of the D, but not the E, you just change from first and third valve to first and second valve. So it goes, your tongue is going, ta, 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 ha, rest. Ta, 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 ha. So every time when there's not a slur, you use your tongue on the first one. Ta, and then here you don't use your tongue, you just switch your fingers. Ta, ha, it makes it sound smooth. So you go, rest. Ta, ha, rest. Ta, ha, ta. And, and this is um, building up louder. See this crescendo to forte? So you're going rest. E, F, G, rest. F, G, A, B, A. High B, second valve for four counts, tied to four counts. It's the same note tied together. That means add it together, eight beats on that high B. And it starts medium soft, mezzo piano, and crescendos louder. To forte, but you don't want to go out of tune. You don't want to go, Ta right? And you don't want to go, Ta -ta. you want to try to keep it in tune on that B. Ta -ta. So you have to control it with your lips and with your air and with the shape of the inside of your mouth. You take some experimentation. Here's 43. A, E, C, D, E, right again, slurred here, ta, the N, B here means try not to take a breath there. You should be able to play this in one breath, right? You should be able to actually play all the way to here. Oops, can you see it? You should be able to play all the way to here and then take a breath here. Ta, ta, ta. Three beat note here, two beats with the dot after it means three beats. Ta, 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 ta. Right? Same thing here. Try not to take a breath here or here. Try to go all the way to here till you breathe. And then. Ta, ta. Getting louder on the crescendo. And then the bottom line. Sorry for the camera shake. Then soft on this. Suddenly soft. Rest. 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 That's how it ends. Here it has forte, forte. That means double forte or fortissimo. Extra, extra strong. But... You can't see it because it got off, but um, it had been written in controlled. Um, you can't play so loud that it sounds ugly. You can't go, blat, 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 blat. It sounds ugly. You have to go, top, 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 top. Right? And you're accenting each note with your tongue, but you're keeping it under control so it's not too loud. We're going to have the whole band playing that together, so it'll be very strong, even if you don't play it as loud as you can. You just want to play as strong as you can with good self-control. All right, that's Furioso. Man, we are gonna work hard on this. It is gonna sound awesome, like out of a movie. And it's gonna be so fun to play together with the flutes and clarinets and with all of the sixth graders in the band and the percussion section too. It's gonna be a really cool concert. Thanks for your hard work, guys. Keep up the good practicing and I will see you at school. I realize you can't you know, practice this whole piece in one sitting. You're gonna to have to um, take your time with it and build up your strength. All right, see you in class. Bye.